Welcome back. Welcome back. Just like that, we're moving into our third segment for the morning. This one surrounds Belize Afro Dance Formation. We talk about the uh, cultural exchange with TMJ Dance Project. Uh, we're about to talk to Chriselle Gabriel, who is the owner of Belize Afro Dance Formation. Was formerly Precision and Style. Yes, that same lady. Yes, she's now for the owner of Belize Afro Dance Formation. In with us as well is Terence Johnson, who's the owner of TMJ Dance Project. And baby Aaron Baptist, who's a member of Belize Afro Dance Formation, is in with us. Guys, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's nice to see all three of you. I could tell you that much, but <laughs> let's get on into this conversation. <laughs> Belize Afro Dance Formation. Chriselle, um, what, what, what's that? Well, it's the evolution of precision and style dance groups. Evolution. So, mm, I like that. Yes. <laughs> yes. We have now evolved into this grand dance group where we are now venturing on into taking the cultural aspects of our country and trying to document and trying to to continue it so that we don't face extinction, especially with the Creole culture, because mm -hmm. it, you rarely see any um, any cultural groups doing Creole dances, as a po um, except for myself and the Belize National Dance Company. And so yeah. we're trying to preserve that, mm -hmm. as well as enhance our dancers' technique, so that we can now take everything up a notch. So we're no longer just going to stay at the same level. We mm -hmm. are now trying to make our company grow and produce quality dancers and not just, um, you know, come out and say, oh, I'm a dancer and, and not put any mu or much effort into, into getting someplace. Yeah. So we want to we want to afford dancers the opportunity to to raise the, their level of dance skill and to to also know their identity their cultural identity and not be ashamed of it but also know the roots of it know the dances and feel proud not just in belize but also internationally in, in displaying who they are as a as a culture as a company as, as being a belizean okay yeah. i um i when i when i hear afro i think about afro beat of course one of the hottest <laughs> things right now as we speak so i wanted to ask you again chriselle why uh belize why not belize afro dance formation with precision and style it's a rather long name, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, with precision and style, I know I'd mentioned before uh, on previous interviews that I like the idea of the PS postscript that you would, you know, remember at the end of a note, at the end of a letter that you're writing. Yeah. However, just saying precision and style dance group to other individuals outside of the country they would be like where is this dance group from and you know with belize afro dance formation it's already in the name we're able to you're able to now know who we are just by our name or where we're from <laughs> just by our name and afro refers to our cultural roots so mm -hmm. our yes the African influences that make up our Creole culture, that is why I included the Afro. Yeah. And we're hoping to evolve from just Belize Afro Dance Formation into Belize Afro Dance Academy wow. in the future. So, you know, stepping stones. All right. So, Terrence, it's been about two years, somewhere around there, my brother. I Talk know. to us. Welcome back. <laughs> Yes, I am super excited uh, to be on this morning. Um, and as Christelle said, you know, I'm super excited also, too, about uh, the Belize uh, Afro Dance Formation. Uh, I was actually in Belize uh, the last two weeks of 2020. Oh. Uh, so, yes, in my time there uh, visiting. And I actually came just to relax and just to, to get away. 
Uh, so in my time there uh, visiting, Christelle and I, uh, we had a meeting about, you know, how can, you know, TMJ be able to come in and, you know, begin to enhance uh, the training and the experience of training for the students there, but how can, you know, the Belizean culture or especially the, the Creole culture of dads um, be brought back here to the States? That's one thing that, you know, that is not, um, that is not here. You know, we have a lot of African dance. We have a lot of uh, Latina and uh, Hispanic dances. So you have uh, ballet folklorico, uh, flamenco, all of those types of dances. But we don't have the Creole culture. So uh, I thought that was one that would be amazing to be able to introduce here, especially because uh, I'm a native of Louisiana. So I'm French Creole here in the States. And so each time I come to Belize, I feel so connected. I, I, I actually feel Belizean. You know, I feel like, wow, this is this is my family. This is where I'm from. Uh, and I want to be able to share those uh, those same cultural experiences uh, with our students and families here in the States. Mm -hmm. uh, so in working with Chriselle, we were able to look at how we could begin to exchange these amazing benefits that we have within each of our organizations um, and then help them to grow and expand and do more. So I am super excited to be uh, a part of this. Um, of course, you know, all of this uh, comes from um, my love and my support for Jamie Thompson, who uh, was my friend. He is my friend here uh, in the States. We met in Dallas. And then um, through him, I was able to meet Karen Vernon, um, who has also been just a wealth of resource and information to be able to uh, help the TMJ Dance Project be able to do a lot of the cultural exchange work that we do in Belize. All right, so that's where the that's where the uh, the merger comes from. So, uh, Terrence, uh, w what is your long term go goal in terms of uh, providing th this across Belize? Yeah, so um, through the Afro Modern Dance Formation, you know, I definitely want to be able to facilitate um, such the training and programming to help it really become the academy uh, in Belize. So we are definitely in it for the long haul. Um, and then also using this partnership uh, to expand upon the other partnerships that we have um, in Belize. Of course, with uh, Kunga Dance Belize, which is the festival um, that uh, Miss Karen and Jamie have put together, and it's absolutely amazing. This year was the first year for that. Um, and then all of the other um, projects uh, that are going on in Belize with the shift of art and culture and the growing of art and culture there, TMJ wants to be a part of that as much as we can because again, for us, we began to dive into cultural experiences that we don't have readily available here. So um, just as much as we offer on the training side, we receive um, the cultural experiences that make us that much greater here in the States. All right, Chriselle, while uh, we're not able to get together as a people and uh, do things together, learn dancing together, how do you expect to roll this out uh, with your dance company? Well, we are actually having uh, some in-person and online classes. So we've oh. taken that step to actually have in-person classes twice a week and online classes twice a week. And so with our collaboration with Mr. Terrence on the TMJ Dance Project, we are going to be having classes once a week with them every Friday um, online while he's over there in the US. And when he's here, then he will be giving the in-person classes and so forth. So I would be doing the same. Um, so while I am here, I will be doing the online classes for them with the cultural aspect and mm -hmm. then um sorry and then if i'm when i'm over there then i'll be doing the in-person classes so the students get to not just learn online because online learning with dance is a little bit more difficult when delivering technique yeah, but yeah. gradually getting them back into the studio is the is the goal yeah. And we've all, and we've also we've also created a, a a space to where the students will also be learning the theory. Yeah. Um, that was the biggest portion uh, with the cultural aspect of dance is that Chriselle is already going through the process of documenting and really creating a space of preservation. Uh, for Creole dance in particular, but she's also well versed in all of the other cultural forms of dance that are available uh, in Belize. So uh, being able to have that theory attached to it and give students that cultural knowledge here 
um, to support the movement is 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 absolutely amazing. Um, Chriselle is already we already have her uh, slated to be in the U.S. Uh, the last two week, well the last week of July and the first week of August, um, and then myself getting ready to uh, come to Belize in November. Um, and of course, I think I'll be there again in December just to <laughs> do what I did. <laughs> just to get away from the cold. <laughs> I love it, though. You know, I, I think what you guys show is that even when you're not on a stage, you're not in a theater, it doesn't mean um, that you can't collaborate. And while definitely the preference would be to have an audience and to be together, you're still making it work. Yes. Yeah. All right. And then finally, Arin. Arin. <laughs> How? Good morning. And how do you feel to be a part of this whole dance movement? Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, like, it's that simple, John. <laughs> and do you like dancing a lot? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. what's your favorite song to dance? You don't have a favorite? Mm -mm. You like a lot? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. <laughs> so, in wrapping up, once again, uh, if, uh, uh, Christelle, if you like, if folks would like to be a part of this dance group, uh, how can they be a part of it? You can find us on Facebook, uh, Belize Afro Dance Formation. Um, you can send us a message at six two zero five eight two five, or you can send us a, a Facebook message. Um, and I will be the person responding and we could just set up an interview okay. with the parent. And from and it just goes from there, basically. All right. And Terrence, if we'd like to see some more of your work, where do we go? Yes, www.tmjdanceproject.org. Uh, actually, our new website releases on Monday. That's going to be our five year anniversary. Yeah, we celebrate five years. Um, and then we're also on Facebook, TMJ Dance Project and Instagram, TMJ underscore Dance Project. Lovely. Right. Well, thank you guys so very much. It was nice for you to visit this morning, and we hope to see you very, very soon, all right? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're about bye. to uh, Bye. <laughs> so we're about to wrap things up. We've got a final commercial break. When we come back, we'll be uh, wrapping things up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.